All right, we're gonna set the lathe to about 500 RPMs. And I've uh, got a little denatured alcohol here, and we're gonna clean this blank up. Give it a few seconds for the uh, alcohol to evaporate. looking pretty good. I like the fact that a lot of the weathering, uh, this pin is fatter, so a lot of the weathering, well, we were able to keep that on the uh, pin, and it really almost gives it a spalted look, really a beautiful effect. Let's uh, put the top back on this denatured alcohol so we don't knock it over. And I'm gonna grab some of this uh, Triple E Ultra Shine wax. And I'm gonna put that on there. Once again, keeping the lathe at about 500 RPMs. Get a liberal amount of this uh, wax and start applying it. Nice thing about this wax is uh, it has an abrasive in it. Um, so basically it, it is almost like sanding farther. I sand to 600, which I believe is like sanding to 1200 with this wax so it really does a nice job let's get a clean piece here and do some buffing get some of this wax off of here when you're taking the wax off it's, it's a good idea to frequently move the paper to a clean section of the paper and I'm gonna go ahead and speed the lathe up uh, somewhere between about 14 1500 rpms I'm building some some friction and just basically melting this wax and letting it do it, letting it do its job. When the paper starts looking clean, you know you've got all of it off. All right, it looks good, boy. The thing is smooth and pretty. I don't see any scratches in it. Shake up the uh, shallow wax shellac based finish that will the friction will cause it to bond with the wood and harden and produce a nice protective shell putting that on I'm basically just rubbing it back and forth to make sure I get good coverage and I'm gonna press against the wood until I feel the heat on my hand uh, the friction is what you want the heat builds up and, and it causes the uh, shell of wax to bond and form the shell I'm going to go to a clean part of the paper, do a little bit of buffing. Okay. I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes. I'm going to apply a second coat, and then I'll come back and we'll put the pin together. I had accidentally put this pin together before I turned the camera on. So let me lay the two pins together and uh, you can see both pins are absolutely beautiful and I really think Sally and Don are going to like them and I think these will be some nice keepsakes.